Hello people, today is Thursday and uh, today is Thursday August 17th, the 17th and uh, I, I would like to continue uh, making these videos for uh, people that doesn't speak Spanish and I know, I know that my accent is a little bit rusted, uh, there have been several years without practice but I hope uh, in the, in, in, uh, the more videos I make uh, the better my my accent and my uh, and my language will improve. Uh, I was uh, thinking about to, about uh, the possibility of introducing um, mainly for for the people outside Monterrey uh, and outside Mexico this character, the Cerdotado from uh, uh, Polo Hasso. Uh, the, the author of this of this uh, uh, character, uh, the Cerdotado, is a a pig that is a superhero. He received um, uh, his father uh, received a um, um, curse from a witch, and uh, uh, from the, uh, from that curse, uh, his two sons became uh, with superpowers. Uh, the the main character, the Cerdotado, is the, the kind of anti-hero. is uh, is a, a a very uh, nice character. I I have been following him for decades. Um, Polo is uh, a great artist, a great person, and uh, a, a marvelous friend. Uh, but it's not the only thing that Mexican artists uh, used to make to, to, uh, to, to hit comics. We have also uh, Cerdonio Chicharron. Cerdonio Chicharron is from Alan Sanchez or Pepe San. And Pepe San uh, makes uh, comic strips about Cerdonio in modeling clay. That, that's uh, a, a great uh, asset of his uh, work that he, uh, I know he's a pretty competent uh, 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 making drafts, uh, drawing, but uh, I, I think he's better, and I believe he's better modeling clay uh, sculptures. So uh, his comic strips uh, uh, appear on a, on a newspaper in Saltillo, Coahuila, uh, he, he makes two strips, Sardonio Chicharron and uh, one about uh, football, uh, about soccer. So that's what I have to say about my friends that make uh, comic books. And uh, I hope if you never had the chance to, to, to know these characters, try to, to Google, uh, Google for for uh, these two characters, uh, I I believe you will you you will have a, a, a pretty nice surprise because uh, they 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 are great uh, a, a great piece of art. Also uh, today uh, there is a, a literary cycle on Monterey that uh, the the great uh, master. Uh, writer of Monterrey, Eligio Coronado, he has a cycle called Pájaros en el Alambre, or, or Birds in a Wire, in the Wire, and uh, he invites uh, different uh, writers every week, and every Thursday they, they gather at La Regia, an art cafe and gallery in, uh, in the uh, Barrio Antiguo at, at Monterey downtown, and they read their works. I, I uh, several years ago I was invited. I have I have been honored by uh, Master Eligio, and uh, I I want to invite you if you have the chance. If you live in Monterey, uh, you you have to to visit La Regia any uh, any single uh, Thursday. Today, uh, my friend Carlos Ayala is going to be reading his words. So, you know, you, you have the chance today to, to know a little bit about uh, uh, Pepe San, about Polo Hasso, and uh, uh, the, the, 
pájaros en el alambre cycle, literary cycle. So R54, say goodbye, uh, Leo Wally, and I will keep uh, the, the work with these small uh, figures because I am trying to, to complete several animations, several claymation uh, animations for my students. Have a nice uh, Thursday, and we are about to, to get to a weekend. Goodbye.